Have you ever questioned yourself, how much time am I actually wasting? I bet you haven't until now. Have you ever wrote a long list of tasks to do the next day? You're so motivated. But when it comes to the next day, you end up scrolling through social media. I want to talk and share my opinion about how valuable your time is and why we need it if we want to become the best artists. Many people, including you, don't realize how much time you're wasting away through consuming content. And I want to dedicate this video to the people, artists, who was addicted to social media and wasting their time, undervaluing their time. This video I'll talk about, first point is that you need to realize how valuable your time is. Then I'll talk about having one productive day or a dopamine detox can change the way how you view your time. Lastly, you need to sacrifice a lot to become the best artist. Okay, back to a point. Now I know that me labeling you going on social media is an addiction. It might sound a little harsh, but it's just the truth. It's so weird how being on social media it makes you want to go on it even more. Going on social media means that you're giving into instant gratification. You give into that temptation to obtain immediate reward from little to no effort. The quote-unquote rewards are like are usually the dopamine that allows you to feel happy or satisfaction. However, when you give into instant gratification, you will notice that doing long hard work tasks is like torture. Because how our brain works, they don't give a damn about hard work or easy work. They just care about the dopamine. And so our brain will choose the one that gives us the most dopamine and with the least amount of effort into it because it wants it right now which is why you need to start the dopamine detox one thing to clear out before going to the next point is that you need to understand that your time is much more valuable than you think just think about it you have all the access to many platforms like social media and it's all free why are all the apps free well it's because you are trading your time when you use the platforms. They even get specialists to analyze the algorithm, and data, and probably even spend millions of dollars just in order to keep you more hooked on to the platforms much longer. That is how valuable your time is and why are you throwing away? If you want to become the best artist, the artists don't scroll on social media, waste their time all day. They have to do the hard work. They have to learn more which is why you have to understand that your time is very valuable and you can't just throw it away just like that. So I was watching this YouTube video a while ago and this quote really stuck out to me. So he said, it's hard work, but that's what keeps you fresh. Later on, you can sleep well at night. Let that quote sink in for a while. Imagine that you completed all the tasks. Imagine that you resisted indulging into instant gratification and wasting your valuable time. Imagine how good, how proud you will feel at the end of the day. Or was there even a day where you actually feel satisfied that you didn't procrastinate? When you start the dopamine detox, the main goal is to reduce your dopamine levels. You want to reduce the instant gratification, which is like the social media, fast food, gaming, anything that gives you instant pleasure. You will have the urge to procrastinate and go on social media, but you have to resist it. Ask yourself, why do I really want to go on it? Am I avoiding something? Okay, so how does this relate to you being the best artist? Well, doing dopamine detox and eliminating all distractions, you will have all the time in the world to work on your art. And this is how I improved in my art fast because I was able to study long periods of intense, deep focus without getting bored. The quality of focus is very important. For example, learning something with deep focus takes less time compared to you being distracted and doing the work, which could probably take a whole day to learn the same thing. Just having deep focus, you can learn much more. Thus, you can improve fast because you are able to have more time to learn new things. Another thing I want to talk about is that you have to realize that to become the best artist, you have to sacrifice some things or a lot of things. Having a balanced life is a lie. You will not reach to your goals as fast. And a balanced life is considering all aspects of your life like 
work, fitness, health, well-being, and relationships, and maybe instant gratification, probably. Having a balanced life, you aren't working harder than anyone else. So why do you expect to become the best artist when you are just putting the same amount of effort as they are? But honestly, it's your choice. You can choose to have a balanced life. Now, I know in my previous video, I said for you to have a balanced life. Well, that is only if you want to accept that you'll just be an average artist that probably most people will forget about your art. But honestly, that's fine with other people. They might be okay with it. But for you who have this big dream of achieving so much through art and getting recognized, a balanced life isn't for you. You can relate to this when there is a day where you haven't tried your hardest and just stay comfortable. You honestly feel so disgusted by yourself. While well, I did at least. I feel so frustrated that I couldn't discipline myself, that I was controlled by my emotion which comes and go so you want to go out of that balanced life just enough until you feel discomfort and pain and honestly i was going to say have an extreme life pursuing your goals but that just doesn't work you will feel burnt out which is the main thing you want to avoid and i'm speaking it from experience so you want to have a routine where you can push yourself and work harder than anyone else and where you start to feel the pain and discomfort but not too extreme so you can sustain that routine long term. So the things that you want to sacrifice, I like to keep it as this rule, the 20 and 80 rule. You want to keep 20% of the stuff that gives you 80% of the enjoyment. This is how you will be able to eliminate unnecessary things that will waste your time so i just want to get this message through and just share things that i think might help you especially when it's close to new year and you probably need this to set off 2023 let's all have a wonderful next year no more procrastination and where every day we push ourselves to our limits remember that growth comes through pain and discomfort whatever you hate that's what you need remember this quote is hard work but that's what keeps you fresh later on you can sleep well at night i hope you learned a lot in this video okay take care bye